for the totals. The score that they would like to beat is 38.875. That is what the team from China has accumulated after two rotations. Well, it looks like they're still happy with each other. She's not hitting him. <laughs> This, this right, is a fun today. meet. <laughs> it is a fun meet, and they both did quite well at the American Cup. I'm sure they're pleased with their work. And it's important to finish strongly, especially in an Olympic year. Van Hayden showing some of his maturity and composure at this level of competition. It's a savvy crowd here in Allentown, Pennsylvania. I've mentioned many times that Parquet is based here. They are a very top-notch gymnastics club here in Allentown. 9-3 for Dan Hayden, so that'll give them a total of 19, or 18.9 rather. So 18.9 won't be good enough to, I don't think, to get them into the next round, but who knows? Everybody else might flub up. It's not over until it's over. We'll be back with more of the second round. But first, this. Welcome to the original Sal's Italian Restaurant. Sal's is a family restaurant with a stylish atmosphere where friends and family gather to talk and feast on our subs, salads, pizzas, or our exciting entrees, including Italian seafood, veal, pastas, and of course our tender juicy steaks. Savor the moment dining with friends, but don't forget our takeout and delivery service. That's the original Sal's Italian Restaurant, 402 Huffman Mill Road in Burlington. Hello, I'm Gladys. Hi, I'm Jordan. There's a special way you can help Elon Homes for Children. We're collecting labels and proofs of purchase from Camel's Private. With 975000 we can get a new 15-passenger van. You can help by saving labels and proofs of purchase from the Camel products, then send them to the home or drop them off at the collection point. If you want more information or a list of the product, please call the office at Elon Homes for Children. Thank you for your help. Welcome back to the McDonald's International Mixed Pairs. We are ready now for the two teams that tied for second, the Soviet Union and the United States. First, we are going to see the pair from the Soviet Union. Svetlana Bayetova will be our first competitor on the uneven parallel bars. I was wondering what she was going to do. She's changed her mount from the warm-up. She was having trouble with it. That is actually a part that is usually in the middle part of her routine. Did she water it down? Not really watered it down. She took out the mount, and that's all. She's going to do everything else. Beautiful flyaway half. I believe she's taken out her reverse effect. So, yes, she has watered down. Free up to hands, hands, giant. Oh, half in, half out. But she jazzed up the dismount. It's a very difficult dismount. And this was the young lady who fell off at the American Cup on the uneven parallel bars and decided, I guess, to play it safe. She, I think she made the wise choice. It was on the mount that she fell at the American Cup. It cost her the all-around. Stalled her to handstand. That beautiful release move is way up in the air. This is her partner now, Igor Korobchinsky. He is on the still rings. Now, notice that most of the gymnasts in this competition, the male gymnasts, they like to do rings. It's just one of those events that once you get your hands locked in the rings, you know you don't have to let go till the very end. It's a very secure event for most of us. Now, he's only 18 years old. Korpchinski has got a lot of growing to do. He's going to be a lot stronger in the future. His swing is very, very good. He's a little unstable in his handstands, a little weak in some of his strength parts. But he's technically very, very sound on the screen. A beautiful double layout this one. He's 18 years of age. At what point does a male gymnast, do you think, reach his peak? At, w at what age? You know, it just depends. It, it absolutely depends on the individual, what sort of growth spurts they grow through. Uh, I would say the average age might be in the lower mid-20s, and that's where you might see them reaching their peak. But a lot of the best Soviets are, are very, very young. That's a beautiful double layout. That was Korobchinsky by Itova on the uneven parallel bars. What's really amazing about this routine is that she was able to change it at the last minute and still come through with a solid performance. Well, the score for the Soviet Union on the uneven parallel bars was 9.9. .9. We are still waiting for their still rings figure, but that certainly puts the pressure on Phoebe Mills, who was also elected to compete on the uneven parallel bars. Now, coming into this round, 
BB Mills and her partner Kevin Davis from the USA were tied with the pair from the Soviet Union. And the young lady from the Soviet Union just received a 9.90. We're looking now at Bella Caroli, the coach of BB Mills. One more note that we should add is Christy Phillips is no longer coached by Bella Caroli. She has now moved out to the Scats program and is coached by Olympic coach Don Peters. So Bella Caroli is focusing all of his attention now on Phoebe Mills, and that attention is paying off. Phoebe Mills just won the American Cup, the all-around title, and she's doing quite well in this event. Kathy said, you know, she, she did win the American Cup, and she did it with near-perfect routine on all four events. This is the year to be hot. 19.60 is the total for this team from the Soviet Union. This is Phoebe's favorite event. I think you'll be able to see why. She does it quite easily. She's got two release moves. There's her first reverse hex. She casts right up to handstand. Now watch how she catches with mixed grip. Back somersault down to the low bar. Not only are her big skills good, but even the connection moves. Very unique. Giant full pirouette right into a double tuck flyer. Is it a 9-9? That is the question. I think I would give it a 9-9 see what the judges do, but I think it's very comparable to the Soviet gymnastic team. In fact, it was cleaner. Not, not any breaks in this routine, except right here, slight little hop, and that's all. Phoebe Mills very happily with her performance as we move now to the parallel bars for her partner's performance, Kevin Davis. Kevin's kind of like uh, one of the backbone gymnasts of the real powerful University of Nebraska team. They've always done very, very well in collegiate competition, and they continue to put some top gymnasts up on our national team. Kevin originally hails from Lithonia, Georgia. He did a press up to a handstand, center of the bars, a Diamidoff, front up rise, a little break on the handstand. It's called a Healy twirl. Another Healy twirl. He does those very well. Back up by a straddle cut. This is a very solid routine. Double back dismount. Little hop. Could get a very good score on that. Nine point seven five. Would you say it's worth at least that? Uh oh. Or very we're gonna, close. We're going to have to wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my judging card yet, so uh, no. There it is. Double back dismount. Little hop. I think it's comparable to the Soviets' ring routine. He had a good score at the American Cup. Scored a nine point eight on that routine. Again, they came into this round tied for second with the Soviet Union. The Soviet gymnast, the female, received a 9.9 for her uneven parallel bars. Phoebe Mills received a 9.875. So they're 0 0.025 off just on the women's side of the competition. But let's see if Kevin Davis made up the slack. Their combined total should be 19.6 if they're just keep pace with the Soviet Union. And his score, 19.675. So right now, they have overtaken second place. We'll be back with more second-round competitors after these messages. Compete. The United States is on top with Davis and Mills, 39.275. But hot on their heels, the Soviet Union, 39.2. Needless to say, this meet isn't over. This third round is going to mean a lot. Only the top three pairs will advance, and right now, in the third slot, is the German Democratic Republic. Right now, let's take a look at Romania's Gabriela Poterak. Good handstand positions here. Excellent line. Full pirouette over the top. Another full pirouette. Full and a half to a front. Very nice move. She keeps excellent form throughout the routine. Another full pirouette over the top, right into a double tuck flyaway and a good landing. Nice, solid routine. 
The team from Romania was in fourth after the first rotation, and they're trying to break into the top three. This is her dismount. She does a full pirouette over the top. She does this quite well, right into a double tuck flyaway, and a perfect landing. And now on floor, her teammate, Mario Stoba. Now, Mario Stoba won the American Cup just 48 hours ago. Very, very powerful gymnast. Really does a Romanian male outperform the Romanian female. Right. That was a real bit stumble, though. He did a double back flip into a punch front, and he just totally set down. That would be a major deduction. He might be saved. They've just flashed the score for his teammate. She received a 9.9. .9. A little flare work and a little great dancing trick, right? The splits. Very, very flexible. Oh, that is a major deduction, though, on that double back punch front. There's a plan, press to a handstand. Now, he should have held that handstand as well. He should hold it for a minimum of two seconds. He needs a 9.525 to tie for third. In other words, to advance to the final round. Well, he may have a chance, but it just depends on how much the judges choose to deduct on that little mistake he made earlier, or that big mistake. Very powerful gymnast. He gets 9.6 or better, they're in. 9.525 or better, actually, they're in. Now, his second pass is a round off, back handspring, double back flip, and he tries to do a punch front flip right out of it. But he just doesn't quite get on his toes right. Just a, basically a forward roll. Now, he can maybe cover up a little bit. is dismount, front flip walk out, round off back handspring, lay out with a double twist into an immediate punch front. This is what he wanted to do out of that double back. Now, some judges will rationalize and say, oh, he just did a punch forward roll out of it. Others might say, no, he, we know what he meant to do, and it was a big mistake. So you just don't know where they're going to go on this. She did her part, hitting a 9.90. They were in fourth after the first rotation. The team they want to beat has a combined total of 38.95. That's the German Democratic Republic. <laughs> I don't know. He's patting her on the back. She should be patting him on the back. <laughs> you should be asking him how his ankles feel. <laughs> I think you're right, Peter. That second pass did not look like it felt good. Peter, while we've got this pause here, what happened to the Japanese men? We they used to be so dominant in this sport, and they're not even in this round. Well, I think one of the reasons why they're not in this round or advancing on uh, is, is because also the Japanese women don't perform necessarily very well, so that won't help them to move him up into the next round. But the Japanese male gymnasts uh, dominated the sport for 20 years, and really, I don't think they just kept up with the trends that were being set in our sport. Uh, a lot of innovative skills being done, more creativity, and I think they got a little bit stale. Now, I'm not knocking them down. They're great gymnasts. They still consistently perform well in international competition. But uh, right now, they're not in the top three in the world. You heard the score, 9.60. According to our math, that will advance them into the next round. So they will be seen again, the Romanians, getting into the next round, unless the Bulgarians do something awesome. This is Diana Dudova. Diana Dudova is competing, obviously, on the balance beam. She is 5 feet 1 and 1 half inches tall, 19 years of age. She was actually 6 on this event at the World Championships. And their, her team placed fifth. Now that, I believe, was going to be a, a pass. She's usually done two back handsprings into a layout step out. She's going to repeat the skill. The really has that? no choice. Back handspring, layout step out. She's got to do it for the difficulty. <laughs> she needs it for the difficulty. That's a darned if you do, darned if you don't. Traditionally, in the sport, you are supposed to carry on if you fall on a move, but you need the difficulty of some moves, and if you omit them, then there's a bigger deduction, so that's why she repeated. Now, she's anywhere near the time limit. Also repeating the skill will cause a problem. Standing layout step out. Her country is actually better known for their rhythmic gymnastics as opposed to this event, which is called artistic gymnastics. When I say rhythmic, I'm talking about the rhythm and so forth. The Bulgarians dominate that in the world. Side 
strikes the ball, she's moving quite solidly. Comes her dismount. Round off, double pike dismount, laid out the first somersault. That's now we'll see where she had her problem. 